On a recent trip to the thrift store, I found some really cool items that I cannot wait to show you how I am going to recreate, repurpose them for a fun new look. It's rainy, it is chilly, but we are headed to the thrift store to find some old frames that we can upcycle. You know I love upcycling frames because the possibilities are endless. This thin one here was perfect what I had in mind and I brought it home and we are going to turn it into a beautiful centerpiece. I'm going to remove of course the price tag and give it a quick wipe. It wasn't horribly dirty but it always has a little bit of grime so you want to remove that and dry it well. I'm going to give it a couple of coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the Serenity Blue. It's a beautiful light blue and it is chalk paint so it attaches really well to any surface. Once it was dry, I'm going to grab my sanding block. It has a smoother side and a rougher side. I'm going to go with the rougher side and I'm going to distress it. Of course, this part is completely optional. You do not have to distress it. You can leave it the color that it is. I just love a distressed look. This is why I am distressing it. Once I had a distress, I am going to dust it really well because I want it to seal everything. So I brought it into my garage and I am going to give it one coat of this clear top coat by Rust-Oleum. Just one coat was sufficient and I'm going to do it on all sides. Once it was fully dry, I'm going to bring it back inside and then we're going to finish it off. These little vases are from Target Dollar Spot. They come three in a pack and I had an extra one from a previous project. They're three dollars for the three and I just thought it was a great deal perfect size for this centerpiece. I'm going to place them equally separated on it. And then I'm going to take these little white flowers. I believe these are from Dollar Tree. I have them left over for my pick from another project. I'm just going to place one little bundle in each one. And I'm going to remind you what the frame looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. It is fresh. It is so beautiful. Perfect for spring and summer. And I just love it. Another frame that I found was this beautiful one. It had a large size and it was good quality. I brought it home and I am going to flip it, literally. <laughs> I'm gonna remove the backing. I'm just gonna flip those little clips that it had and then I'm gonna remove everything from it except I'm going to keep the cardboard portion of it. I'm gonna keep the frame and I am going to give it again a good wipe and dry it really well. This one was a little bit more dirty but nothing that a little wet rag could not remove. Once it was dry, I'm going to give it two coats of Waverly Chalk Bean in the white. Friends, as always, I would love to connect with you on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. And I have those links down below in the description box. So make sure you check it out when you're done watching. All right, so now while that's drying, I am going to take the cardboard portion. And I'm going to place it on top of a foam core from Dollar Tree. I'm going to trace it and cut it using my blade knife. I want this to be a picture holder or a note holder holder so I want to have it to be nice and thick and soft where you can push pins through it. Now that I know that the size is equal I'm just going to hot glue them to each other and hot glue was plenty sufficient. Then I am going to bring in some fabric. This fabric I got at Walmart is a Better Homes and Garden fabric. I thought the design and the colors were beautiful. I loved it when I saw it. I knew I wanted to create some crafts with it. I'm going to wrap it so I'm just going to cut off a little bit off from each side, leaving about two inch on each side. And then I'm gonna spray adhesive it to the foam core. And then I'm just gonna flatten it out, making sure that it's nicely attached. When I attached it, I didn't realize that I didn't leave enough side on one side, but it worked out well. Just when you're doing this, if you are going to recreate it, make sure you leave enough on all sides so that you can wrap it nicely. So I'm just gonna hot glue the sides and just wrap it like a gift. Friends, for the last few weeks, I've been letting you know that I do have a blog, which I post every single week. I take my videos and put it into a written format. So if you love reading the uh, tutorials, I would love for you to check it out. It is linked down below. This lacy ribbon is from Dollar Tree. You've seen me use it before. I use it all the time. I'm just going to start crisscrossing it, hot gluing it in the back. This is so that we can hang pictures with little tiny clothespin as needed or little notes. And um, you can also put push pins because it does have that foam core but I just thought adding the ribbon would add a nice touch so I'm just going to add it all the way down making sure that I am crisscrossing it in the front and that way we have a nice design I 
I wanted to cover the back and just to clean it up a little bit. So I'm just going to use this craft paper and I'm just going to cut off a piece. I'm going to hot glue it on all four edges and then I am going to cut off the excess. That way it just looks cleaner and nicer and not such a hot mess. So I did that and then I'm just going to place it right on the frame once again. It was snug. <laughs> I didn't realize I should have left maybe a little bit smaller, but it's okay. I just used my screwdriver to just help me. But once it was in there, it was in there. Let me remind you what the frame looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I love this transformation. I think this is so gorgeous to have in your living room, maybe even an office. This cute little frame had a perfect design. I was just not fond of the front design, but the shape of it was really nice. So I'm just gonna take off all the stickers as well as the green ribbon because we're gonna give it a whole new look. I scrubbed it and cleaned it and dried it. And we are going to start painting the edges in the Waverly chalk paint in the white. We're gonna focus just on the edges because we do not need the center to be covered because we're gonna cover it with something else. So I give it two coats and let it fully dry. I'm going to take this calendar from Dollar Tree. It's one of the 2023 calendars. I recently did a video using these calendars, but I am going to take this design that is very farmhouse. It says uh, farmer's market, and I just thought it would be perfect for the design of the frame. I'm going to rip it out, and then I'm just going to take the frame, just place it on top. Once I knew where I wanted it and it was evenly placed, I'm just going to trace it with a pencil and then cut off the excess. I'm going to place a thin coat of Mod Podge on top of the frame, and then we're just going to place the design right on top, making sure that we're removing as many bubbles as possible using my fingers and my roller. Once it was dry, I'm gonna take my electric sander and I'm just gonna sand off the edges. This is going to do two things. It's going to distress it and it's also going to remove the excess paper from the sides. I love the distressed look, but again, this is optional. You can always just sand it very lightly and remove the excess paper. I did sand the middle just to give it a little bit more of a farmhouse look. I'm gonna take this chain. It's one of those basket hanging chains from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to separate one of the loops and then thread it through the little clip that is behind the frame and then making sure that it's nice and snug. This is just going to allow me to hang it and I think the black really complements that this overall design and I think it turned out really well. I always keep these chains on hand because I use them all the time to hang frames. Let me remind you what the frame looked like before and this is what it looks like now. It definitely has a farmhouse look. I love that we used that Dollar Tree calendar. How lovely is this? This next frame is a beautiful one. It had lots of texture. Already had a great look, but I'm going to give it more of a spring summer look. So I brought it home and I'm going to remove all the stickers from it. I'm also going to remove the inside. I thought I would keep it, but that middle portion, that part was hard to take off. So I just decided to remove the whole thing. And then I'm going to take this leftover piece of cardboard from the fabric from earlier. And I'm going to take the glass and trace it. And then I'm just going to cut it using my blade knife. This is just going to give me a bottom for the frame. We are turning this frame into a decorative bowl. So I'm going to use this cardboard as well as the glass and place it right inside and then just replace those clips right back down. No big deal. Now that I have that done, I am going to give everything a good scrub, dry it really well, and then I am going to give it a couple of coats of Waverly Chalk Pen in the agave color. I want to cover the bottom portion so I took another piece that was inside the frame I'm going to use it as a guide and another piece of that cardboard that was left over from the fabric I'm going to trace it and cut it and then I'm going to wrap this portion with some felt fabric from Dollar Tree I'm going to cut off the excess and then I'm going to hot glue it and wrap it like a gift
I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier. I'm just going to wrap it and then making sure that I remove and cut off any excess fabric. Very easy to do. Then once I had it, I'm going to just hot glue it to the bottom of the bowl because that way it's not going to scratch any surface and it's just going to make it look clean and professional. So I'm just going to add hot glue and place it right on top very nicely and now it's smooth on any surface i'm going to distress this bowl as well again this is completely optional you do not have to do this step but i am going to use my sanding block and just distress the inside the sides as well as the bottom that way it everything matches nice i love the distress look but once again you don't have to do that i'm going to decorate it with one of these tiny little mini wreaths that i get at target dollar spot and then i'm going to take one of these candles from dollar tree it has a beautiful shape place it right inside let me remind you what the frame looked like before and this is what it looks like now it is fresh it looks lovely i love this agave color and you can put anything in it for decorative purposes for this next flip i'm going to take this frame this is a four picture frame it also serves as a tray I brought it home and I am going to remove, of course, the price tag and give it a good clean to make sure that it's not grimy or dusty. And I did dry it really, really well. To make sure that the bottom is going to be nice and secure, I'm going to take this adhesive from Dollar Tree as a permanent glue and I'm just going to seal all the edges. It's going to take a little bit to dry. I just want to make sure that it's not going to go anywhere because I am going to use this as a tray. So I want to make sure that it's not going to come off. So a little permanent glue did the work. Once it was completely dry, I flipped it over and then it's time to add some paint. I'm just going to add some Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the linen white all around the edges. But we're not going to do this center because we're going to cover it with something different. I'm not going to take some of these Dollar Tree wood planks. I had some leftovers from other projects and I'm also going to take a new one and we're just going to start covering the center with these planks. We're going to kind of just measure and cut and place here and there until I have everything that kind of matches. Once I have everything cut and where I wanted it, I'm going to start painting again using the Serenity Blue from Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint. And then I'm going to do a combination of blue as well as white because I wanted to have a very summery look. So I'm just going to leave the planks where they are and just kind of eye out where I want the blues and where I want the whites. And then I decided to distress the blues using a little bit of the white in a dry brush technique as well as then sanding them with the sanding block for a more distressed look. Now I'm going to start attaching the planks. I'm just going to use a combination of hot glue and permanent glue for a very strong hold as well as a quick hold. Friends, I would love to remind you that I have my Amazon store linked below in the description box. I have all of my favorite items that I get on Amazon there for you to check out. If you ever hear me say that I got something on Amazon, chances are that it's there. So make sure you check it out when you are done watching this video. Now that I have everything planked, I decided to wrap the handles with some jute string. I just thought it needed a little something on there. So I'm just going to start wrapping it around both of them. That way it's just going to add more texture and character. And to finish it off, I'm just going to seal everything with some polyurethane. This is the Polycrylic by Minwax and the crystal clear and i'm just going to give it one pretty heavy coat with a brush and then let it fully dry i'm also going to use some felt fabric in the white this time and i'm going to cover the bottom that way it's going to look nice and professional and it's not going to scratch off any surface i'm also going to add some of these felt pads that i do get at dollar tree they're a little large so i'm going to cut them in half and I'm going to place one in each corner for added protection for any surface. And I do want to remind you what the frame looked like before. And this is what it looks like now. I think it has such a beautiful spring summer look. 
and it's fresh and new and nobody would ever know that it was a picture frame. You're gonna have to let me know which one is your favorite. I can never pick. I think they're all have a beautiful new look, fresh new look anyone would love. Let me know which one is your favorite. I have another video here with tons more picture frame flips for you. Check it out, click on it. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye.